Hey everyone, welcome back. 2019 baseball coming up quicker than you'd ever imagine. Even though the country's in a deep frost right now, uh, baseball is in fact around the corner. And Topps has released its hobby box doo -doo -doo, jumbo 2019 with one autograph and two relic cards. We're going to be opening that bad boy. This is a group box break. Uh, we had teams sold, uh, Tigers, Giants, Astros, Dodgers, Angels, Blue Jays, Braves, Nationals, Yankees, Mariners, Cardinals, Cubs, Brewers, uh, Rockies, Reds. Just, just rattling Ooh. off every single <clears throat> baseball team. Yeah, there's, there's about 16 of them there. And also for uh, pre-ordering, oh, upside down, I got two uh, exclusive packs of silver cards uh, that we're going to open up and of course give them away to whoever bought those teams as well. So I'll each open a silver pack. And now this is a group box break, so we're not going to show off every single card because uh, that takes forever. Ooh, these are nice. These are almost like chrome. Awesome. So this is what they look like. Uh, <clears throat> they're a very nice foil. Ooh, 30, yeah, 35 years. And 35th anniversary, this is what, 1984? 1985. Uh, this is what they look like. They have the little foil stamp up there. Uh, and this is, you know, of course, you know, current players in that format, <clears throat> much like uh, the archives do. But these are very stiff cardstock, high foil. You got the A's and uh, another Derek Jeter card. <clears throat> and then there's a little ad. Launching June 12th, Topps Baseball exclusive silver pack promotion. Receive free chrome cards with the purchase of Topps Baseball Series 2. And uh, so that's what we did. All right, my turn. Well, for Series 1, but it will be Series 2 as well. Who's that? Uh, Chase Adams? <clears throat> Man, they can't even get Charlie Blackman's uh, beard in the picture. So this year's uh, Topps card's uh, kind of controversial with the design. Uh, they changed some of the statistics for odds of getting things. Uh, as well at the last minute, which wasn't very appreciated. Uh, this year they have a top home run baseball challenge. Cards and packs of uh, Series 1 and 2, you pick the game. If your player uh, hits a home run, you win. So that's pretty cool. So we'll keep an eye out for that. Uh, of course, uh, the three hits. Hopefully the th people who bought teams get them. Uh, you know, maybe Lucas can have one of them. We'll see. Uh, <clears throat> there you go. Yeah, I'll finish it off. <clears throat> so at the last minute, about two weeks before uh, it actually launched, Topps actually uh, released the uh, statistics and probability odds. And the number of cards per pack had went down and the number of packs per box had went down. Uh, so the odds were even wider, longer of getting uh, insert cards and hits and stuff, uh, which kind of ticked people off. Uh, some people don't like the design. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's, it, it's, I mean, it's kind of when you do it last minute like that, uh, it's kind of stinky, but what can you do? So this is what they look like. They have Aaron Judge and the great one, Babe Ruth, in his Yankee jersey. Even though Babe Ruth most widely known for being uh, a Red Sox player. Yeah. Now again, this is a group box break. Uh, we got the teams uh, sold out, so if we get any hits, I'll say who got them. Uh, let's see, Isman70 joining us live in the chat group. Uh, bought two hanger boxes, 62 cards in each. Got 15 cards that were not doubles. Wow, so a ton of doubles in two boxes. Uh, crazy. So. Uh, we're going to go through the cards, though. We'll show you the inserts and the hits. Uh, and we'll show you any of the standard cards that are Red Sox Indians, as normal. And we'll also show you any particularly cool cards. There are a lot of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, variant photos. I'm not 100% up to date on all of them. Uh, but if I see any, so that's what this, they look like this year. Hi. This is Porcello. First card. Front and back. Look. Porcello. So there's the Red Sox pile. Um, this is actually, I like this card. This is a, a very nice pattern. Oh, just gonna, pattern. Like, kind of put the ones that are, like, boring, <clears throat> just, like, put them down? Yeah, just, we can't show off all couple hundred Ooh, cards here. baby. Which right one Right off you get? the bat, I got Raphael Devers. Raphael Devers, a very, very good young superstar for the Boston Red Sox. Uh, these are the team be. cards. Uh, well, not the team cards, these are stadium cards, actually. They show you the team. This is Philadelphia Phillies. Yeah. And then on the back, they actually have the starting lineup, the dimensions of the field. Uh, very cool. I mean, that's... Uh, I'd, I'd rather, actually, that'd be really good in uh, opening day. <clears throat> uh, yeah. I'd rather have those as, like, just a field card. Yeah, there's a nice action shot there. 
I love the ones that show the glove going in, not the glove, the ball going into the glove. The glove going into the uh, ball. Very, very cool. We got Mike Trout. This is a nice action shot of him jumping over the wall, grabbing that ball. Uh, Al Again, they put the last names above the first names, so it kind of throws you for a second. Albert Almora. Uh, very nice action shot. Look at the glove. Place work. Obviously, later in the season, or very early in the season, I should say, with the, uh, the little mask. We got Kipnis, Jason. <clears throat> very good. Jason Kipnis. Throw it in the, Kip the Indians pile. Uh, looks like it got cut off. There's a. Oh, you got Bogarts. Wow. Yeah, and that's actually a nice action shot as well, so it's a two for one. Two for one. And I got uh, Edwin Encarnacion, who's no longer on the Indians. But he does get a, this is a great photo right there, folks. He's tossing the bat aside after hopefully hitting a home run. Uh, hopefully. Yeah. So that's cool. The whole bat's in there. They didn't crop it off. Uh, that, that's nice. Oh, this is a nice shot. So we'll put the, in, the hits. This one, you can see the ball like coming right at the camera. I kind of like that. And then we Am got. Ryan saying so? Oh, that's awesome. And it's blurry and sharp in the back. I like that one, John Gray. Max and Cody celebrate. This is a Dodgers. Uh, this is just a standard checklist card, but they have one for different teams. And uh, that's a fun little card, too. Yeah. Uh, Angel. <coughs> stadium. I'm just going to call yep. these stadium cards. Sure. National League Nails. Gritty players share second. So there you go. Again, uh, it's cool. Get the superstars on more than one or two cards. New York. Uh, John Snyder has a good idea in the comments. Uh, it would be fun to send the stadium cards to managers or GMs to sign. Uh -huh. You know, I actually wouldn't mind buying a bunch of those for prospects. Uh, single A, double A, who don't have cards yet, you can get those out uh, to the teams that they're drafted by as soon as they're drafted. And uh, I mean, you'll get them cheap, pennies on the dollar, uh, for lots of these cards. Uh, yeah, that's a great idea. Autographs through the mail. We're going to be doing a, another video uh, with this year's cards to show, uh, update the information. Toronto? I've made that <coughs> phone. All right, I got uh, Orlando Arcia for the Brewers. Uh, th this one, it's actually kind of funny because I don't, you won't be able, maybe not be able to tell on the stream, but uh, it kind of looks like he's photoshopped on that base. Look how he's kind of floating on it. Almost looks like, whoop, oh. almost looks like they uh, photoshopped him down. See how oh, it, yeah. it doesn't look like he's actually there? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Oh. Isn't it? It's like something that you wouldn't really notice. <clears throat> oh, this is a great uh, Didi Gregorius uh, card. How are you already done with all your cards? Look at that. I like how uh, on the side his hand is coming over the border, almost like a, uh, almost like it's popping out of the card. Oh. Right there. How did you <clears throat> already finish your pile? I, I go through them quick. <laughs> I mean, we got things to do. I mean, this is a... Uh, I'm not even halfway oh, through now mine. Yeah, now you're into the, the foils and now the inserts. I'll put so. these in the back. Yep, put those in the back, finish showing off your base cards, and then we'll go. <clears throat> Uh, this year, Topps is celebrating 150 years of professional baseball, uh, so there's insert cards for that. Uh, it's 35 years since the 1985, uh, yeah, 1984. 35 years from the 1984 set, so they have inserts for that. Oh my god, I remember buying these all these uh, cards back in the 80s. It's just hard to believe it's been 30-something years. Uh, this guy's pitching. This guy's looking at someone. Oh, this one's also. Oh, like that's that another one. nice one. So, all right. So, our first preview video, we didn't get a lot of these great action shots. So, now they're kind of coming up. Mm. Uh, retro fan in the comment group. Uh, I don't like that they show the last name first and how big the font is. Terrible design, in my opinion. I agree. It. it uh, for some of the rookies who I'm not familiar with, for other teams, <clears throat> in particular. Future stars. It, sometimes it's hard to tell which is which. It's uh yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. I would have liked, yeah, it's it's weird, the last name above the first name in yeah. the bigger thing. And so, like, <coughs> like, I said last video when we did this, uh, like, if you're not, like, really keen on sports and, like, don't really know the names, you could really, like, mess you up. So let's show off the first inserts. Future stars. Uh, I got 150th anniversary, greatest players, uh, of Valdemar Guerrero, and, uh, there you go. And the back is a little bland, I think, for uh, celebrating 150 years, but what can you do? I'll show off one of yours. got uh, a uh, foil Cole St Stewart. Okay. No uh, no number on the back or anything? No serial number. All right. Because no. I got Billy Hamilton, and uh, 
it's not serially numbered either. Oh, yeah, so. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> it does look pretty cool. Uh, we got Tops uh, Greatness. Greatness. Oh, Greatness. Returns. And who's on that card? Bob Gibson and Max Schneiser. I don't think that's how you say his last name. Scherzer. So, Max Scherzer. Uh, so Bob Gibson, obviously one of the great pitchers. Uh, Max also very good uh, as well. Uh, we got the 1984 design, 35th anniversary Brewers Eric Thames. And again, that's just like the uh, the silver packs, but not silver, obviously not chrome or whatever they they trademarked it. Man, I remember these backs. Woo! Boy, oh boy. Jonathan <coughs> Lasagna. Lasagna. I, it looks like lasagna, yeah. so I was like... Close enough to lasagna for this guy. Yeah, Tops greatness. Enough. And what'd you, what else did you get? A home uh, run Freddie challenge? Freddie Freeman, home run challenge. So home run challenge, Freddie Freeman. So let's take a look at this. This is one of the insert uh, cards that you picked the game. So on the back, there's a little foil section that you scratch off. There's probably a unique serial number tied into it. So choose the game you think your player will hit a home run. If he does, you win a prize and enter it into a grand prize drawing for a chance to win a trip to the 2020 home run derby so not only does he this this player you have to pick the game but this particular player has to hit it uh, yeah, that's pretty tough <laughs> uh, and then I got a tops Ooh. now so at first glance I thought I hit the mother load and uh, and someone was going home very happy but it's actually a tops now advertisement that had a Pujols Trolt and uh, Shinani Otani autograph uh, repro so I was like, well, three autographs, but no, no. It's just an advertisement for Tops Now, which during the season, they pick up one or two cards, and you can order them for 24 hours. I don't know how they got so, uh, how they got things autographed. But uh, I did buy a couple uh, last year for Francisco Lindor. <coughs> so I really, I don't know, I guess it's an insert, but that seems like an advertisement for this old hound. And again, I'll have to go through, uh, see if there's any... Uh, Foil ones, again, early, this game, this car set came out end of January, so now we have, like, uh, Jan Gomes, still on the Indians. Mm, this is a nice <coughs> jumping shot. We got super popular Aaron Judge. I'm surprised he wasn't number one card this year. We got J.D. Martinez for the Red Sox. Well, we got... <coughs> Yonder Alonso <coughs> for the Indians. Oh, this is a beautiful card right here. Mitch Garver. Oh, yeah. Look at this. I mean, sometimes they bungle it with the editing and uh, the cropping, but that is perfect. Let's see if I get my big fat fingers out of the way. The ball right there at the bat. That is just beautiful. Framed everything. Gorgeous. Like it. Like it. Uh, Matthew B. in the chat room. They should go back to the 2013-14 design. Keep it simple with the white borders. That's what people, a lot of people are saying, that they, you know, they miss the borders. At least there's some, some, somewhat of a border here. And you get things like this where the card, the, the, uh, his pitch in hand holding the ball pops out of the card, which I think is a nice touch. Oh, we got Mookie Betts. Mookie. Mookie Betts. Another nice little action card here. Again, watching the ball go into the glove. Although the eye looks like a ball, too. A little bit of double vision there. Chicago. It's hard trying to put them in both cameras. <clears throat> Not good at it. Oh, just hold it right here underneath the timestamp and it'll show up on both cameras. Woo! Uh, so Pittsburgh. Uh, we got a league leader card. These I don't really care for. These are league leaders. This is the home run leader for National League, but it's so subtle that you almost wouldn't be able to tell. It's just that little verbiage yeah. right above his name. It looks like his normal card. Don't care for that at all. Yeah. And this is this is an issue I have with Tops when they do the editing. Uh, this is Jose Aguilar oh, for the yeah. Brewers. I mean, there's no, there is zero reason Tops to crop out uh, the top of that card. Uh, like you could at least get rid of a little <clears throat> bit of his legs just so I get that like, finger. Yeah, I mean, just, I mean, get the finger in there. I mean, he's pointing up. I mean, come on, that's bad editing. Uh, Box Boy says hello to everyone. Hello. On Cespedes. Huh? We got uh, the Yankees win. The Yankees win. The Yankees oh. win. Oh, but they didn't. Oh, how they didn't. Oh, how they didn't win oh, again. Oh, uh, we got 150 years. Oh, we got a little uh, foil stamped. 
Oh, is that so? Is that are you halfway through? Or is that a, was that one in the in the insert section, or is that just maybe? A, I don't know. Uh, yeah. So all right. So that's interesting. Uh, sunny, sunny gray, and I actually had another sunny gray card. I'm going to pull out so we'll compare them. Uh, Cespedes. Uh, let me grab that other sunny gray. I'll show you the two cards side by side. Let me see. While he's doing that, uh, please entertain with bring your Bring it in. <clears throat> What's his face in, what's his face version two, hugging on the place? Oop, there we yep. go. There we go. So, we got the uh, Sunny Gray, they're both 200, card number 285. You can see uh, both cards side by side, and that one has the 150 year stamp on it. A retro fan thinks that may have been his middle finger pointing up at the sky, and that's why they cut it off. Uh, I don't know. Seems kind of like an odd thing to, to do, point your middle finger up. Uh, nope, it's clearly his index finger pointing up like this. Uh, if you're old enough to remember the, who was it, uh, Billy, uh, Cal Ripken's brother, Billy Ripken in the naughty thing, this could have been a hot insert. Um, uh, you're not old enough to remember, but Cal Ripken, one of the all-time greats, had a yes. brother, less great, uh, and he had a, uh, a picture and he was holding his bat like this on his shoulder, and yeah. on the bottom of the bat was uh, a bad word. Oh. And nobody caught it, and it went out the press. Oh. And then they, uh, while they're making the cards, they realize, and they put a little black strip over it. Oh. But the ones that got through were highly desirable. When you're like a 10-year-old before the internet, that card was everything to us. We looked everywhere for that card. That was like forbidden fruit. Uh, just awesome. Right. I like how like parts of it are one way and then like another part will be like upside down. Yeah, that's the distribution when they do the card cutting. Uh, sometimes if they're upside down, it means they're a short print or an uh, alternate artwork. Uh, but I don't see any, a lot of the alternate artworks are very, very, very uh, hard to get this year. Uh, but a lot of them are like them sitting in the dugout or doing something unusual besides playing. And all these look pretty standard. All right, so. <clears throat> uh, this guy is a future star. Future star. Uh, I'll show you off my inserts here. I got a uh, camouflage serially numbered fourteen twelve out of two thousand nineteen. Uh, this is card number two, Tyler Anderson, Colorado Rockies, and you can see the uh, the border. Greatest yeah. players. It's different. We got. This is gonna go to and uh, to John, and there you go. You can kind of see the serial number up there as well. Nice and dark this year. We got greatest players, 150 <coughs> years, Mike Trout. Michael Trout. Michelle that's a, Trout. Well, that's a nice looking card. Uh, he needed to shave that day. I also got a Mike Trout. I got a Bowman. Uh, iconic card. This is a, a version of his draft card, which would have been his first published card. Number one overall prospect by MLB.com. Uh, so that's probably the closest most of us will get to holding this card. Trevor Hoffman, 35 years. <clears throat> Colby Allard, foil card. I don't like that these are considered one of the, I don't know, four or five inserts per jumbo pack, and they're not even serially numbered for Pete's sakes. And then I got a Don Mattingly 35th anniversary card there. This in the old style. is a serially numbered Ooh. out of 76. Ooh. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what this is. But it's a uh, Brian McConan, Houston Astros, <coughs> driving into home plate. But it's like the American flag behind it. Yeah, it looks like the, the flag. Anyone variant. got the Astros? Uh, it may be the Memorial Day camo. Father's Day powder blue. Mother's Day hot pink. Uh, nope, Independence Day. One out of 40 packs. I believe that would probably... Well, one out of 140 packs is the Independence Day variant. That must be it with the flag. Very cool. Uh, that will be going to the, the Nicholas. Astro. Nicholas, yes, we'll be getting this one. Very cool. Very, very nice. cool. Very cool. Anything else? Did you no. show that one? Uh, yes. Kobe, Kobe. All right. So that was the foil card, just in case. All right. <clears throat> so here we go. Still no uh, big hits here. No autographs. No uh, relics. Let's see what we got. And now I got to look. Oh, this is a nice one. Uh, Trey Turner for the Nationals. Jumping into the air to make that uh, the play, the double play probably. What is he? Uh, shortstop? We got Moreland Mitch. Moreland Mitch. 
Are we gonna do the backwards all the time now? Yes. Ramirez Jose, because that's how Tops wants it. Yes, that's that's a nice they, picture they too. Have I like this that. Coming towards this card may go off to get autographed. Uh, I like that layout a lot. <clears throat> so I just, just making fun of Tops at this point. Do it. I got your one of your favorites. We got Mookie Betts. It's Betts Mookie, actually. Get it right. Oh, I'm sorry. I must not know my baseball. Oh, uh, we got this nice jumping shot. The ball isn't in frame, sadly, though. When yep. he's kind of like jump diving forward shot. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a national. Oh, uh, we got Bradley Jr. Jackie. Oh, that one has bets right. on the back. Bradley Jr. <coughs> Jackie. Slide it into home plate, maybe, possibly. I can't tell. Oh yeah, that's oh yeah. He's going in. He's not sliding actually. He's oh. running in to celebrate. Uh, we got JD Martinez World Series little, insert card from last year's Red Sox championship looks a little season. Serious to be. So and you're, you're loading up on the the Red Sox. We got a Mookie Betts League leaders. We got this cool action shot. Uh, a Yankees player that I don't know sliding into another person which I don't know. I got Josh Donaldson on the uh, tribe who's no longer there. So yeah, I'm, I'm getting all my uh, my Indians who've since left. This is great. We got the Houston Astros. Oh. This guy is sliding into a base. Another sunny great card, jeez. Ryan Zimmerman. Oh, okay. The Oakland Athletics. Got a nice little set of fields here. Whew. Future stars, Willie Kaholin. All right. <clears throat> Future stars, no, you got nope. for that? Nope. nope. All right. Just, uh, uh, this guy sliding into home. Uh, this is a 150 years. Yep, you're into the inserts now. Oh. Yep, so that's 150 right. years. I'll show off my 150 year card as well. Mm, Adam just, Jones. <coughs> right here. Uh, 150 goes into this pile right there. So it actually looks like there may be silver and gold. Uh, Sunny Gray is definitely silver. Adam Jones is silver. Yes. The Jose mm. uh, is a gold one. Mm. Looks to be, at least to this, these eyes, but mm. that looks pretty clear cut. Uh, Future stars. Kinda, oh. No, me. I don't know if you're going to even be able to see the difference on the camera. But one looks more silver, one looks gold. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's coming across very well. Uh, Retro Fan says, I hope your Patriots lose tomorrow. And that's it for uh, Retro Fan. Banned from the channel. I got a uh, Revolution of the Game, Kensu Mountain Landis, Commissioner of Baseball. Uh, he's the one who took over the uh, infamous Black Sox scandal. Uh, uh, there's some other issues with him, uh, but yeah, he did good and bad. Got <coughs> Ooh, Shane Bieber. The Biebmeister. I wonder if he's uh, related to the Justin. You still belong to the Justin Bieber fan club? <laughs> no. No? The Taylor Swift one, though. Yeah, girl. If I knew a Taylor Swift song, I'd, uh, I think she sung a, a Shake It song. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, bake it. That sounds right, right? <laughs> you gotta shake, shake, shake. I know the song somehow. It's... Is it? Is that, is that it? I <laughs> no, do... none no, no, no. No? Oh, all right. 35 years. If only there was a way to do these box breaks on, uh, on Fortnite. We'd probably be all set, huh? We'd probably have like 14 billion people watching. Yeah. Going to Twitch? Yeah, this is Fortnite. <clears throat> Someone comes in and headshots me. <laughs> man, this Fortnite looks real realistic, man. Almost looks real. Uh, that. Oh, that's a Tops Now card again? Yep. Yeah. They like putting those Tops Now cards to show you the autographs that you did not get. Yeah. They're like, ha! Look what you don't have, loser. Easy. Easy, kid. 
All right, so let's try to speed this up a little Start bit. Around. I've already been at it. Bam. Longer than I had hoped Cody to be. Cody Allen. Cody Allen for the Indians. Just looking for any variant nope. stock nope. here, real nope. quick. See if we got nope. anything. Nope. This is a nice action shot. I think we had this one last time of Adam Engel jumping over the wall, reaching his glove out, <coughs> praying that he catches that home run. Seattle Mariners. This is a unique one because it isn't like an overhead view. Oh, yeah. It's like a ground one and there's people playing. That's interesting. Like the nor Normally it's like an empty field with no one on it. Yeah, from like a blimper, some high up uh, yeah. area. You quick. This one also has people playing on it for the Atlanta Braves. Normally there's empty, desolate wastelands. <laughs> this one, it's snowing in the picture. Barely ever get to see that. His face isn't that great, but it's snowing. It's snowing? Let me see that. Holy crap, it is. Huh. That's pretty cool. This guy's diving and catching the ball. <coughs> we call those action shots. Yes. Action shots! Yeah, comment that. You want to read that? What's that? Oh, what are your thoughts on where Machado or Harper will land? Oh, geez, I don't know anymore. I always thought, uh,. It was going to go, Trout was going to go to the Yankees and Harper to the Red Sox. But then uh, we got such great homegrown talent here in Boston that we don't need him. Uh, I'm surprised that they're both <laughs> still uh, available. They haven't signed yet. Uh, I'm very, very surprised that nobody's taking the plunge. I think Machado will wind up with the Yankees at the end of the day. Machado, I, I don't know. I mean, it seems like Phillies uh, are putting a strong press on for him. He may go back to the Nationals. I mean... I don't know what's going to happen. It's it's very odd. I mean, these superstars used to be uh, scooped up as soon as they hit the market. Uh, but people got tired of giving 10-year contracts, getting four years out. Someone gets hurt, and then they're just crippled for the rest of their rest of the time. This guy's clapping his hands. <clears throat> oh, show off the last two here. I got Eric Hosmer. Oh. 35th anniversary. Yeah, Chris Bryant, <coughs> but it's. What set is this? A year. Oh, yep. Give and then I got. Now we have one of those year cards. I got a somewhere. certified autograph card. Let me use this. And this is going to go to John with uh, the California Anaheim Angels of Los Angeles. This is a rookie card autographed by Tyler Ward. Taylor Ward? But we got a 2000. Oh, right I'll tell you, initially when I saw Angels in the autograph, I thought I had pulled John a uh, Mike Trout. But no, we got uh, a t Taylor Ward, a, a 1984 Topps Baseball autograph card from the 2019 Topps Baseball set. It is a nice card. I mean, he looks kind of like a goofy kid, but uh, I mean, John, here you go for your autograph collection. Uh, very nice. Uh, a 2015 variant of Chris Bryant. Why is there a 2015 card in there? <clears throat> oh, the rookie card. Yeah, so this is an iconic card. Chris Bryant, it's a rookie card. So, yeah, we actually remember opening and showing this card off. All right. Uh, this is iconic cards, which goes here. All right. <clears throat> you only have one pack left? Yeah. What? I feel this is going to be a good one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You sure you want to do that or you want to keep that one? Which one? Fine. All right, well, hold on. I gotta open this one first. You are way ahead of me, kid. I like it. Speeding up. Harper Phillies, Machado Padres. That would be intriguing. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Scott Boris is, is a known uh, pain in the ass. Ooh, I got my Lindor, and I'm not really a big, huge fan of that uh, particular picture. Yeah, he's just kind of like. Yeah, he looks like a bobblehead in the middle of his shake and bake. Yeah, I think uh, he just like, <clears throat> got out. He's like, whatever. Got Trevor Bauer. Uh, yeah, ooh, man, not see, Indians. I knew this was heavy with Indians. I got Corey Kluber. That's a nice picture. I like that. <clears throat> Another one. Andrew Miller. Oh, yeah, he's gone, too. <laughs> yep, yeah, he's gone, yeah, too. Yep, yep, here we go. Uh, we got a Juan Soto. That's kind of, I just kind of like that card. I don't know why. Uh, let's see, the Dodgers. We got Boston's boys, Beantown's finest, take the field. Hey. <clears throat> ben Attendee. And who's that, Mookie Betts? 
Yes. Uh, let's see. We got David Price, and this is one of the ones Lucas likes with the uh, baseball oh, yeah. in the foreground, a little fuzzy, and the foot coming off of the border. Very cool. Oh, I'm going to put that in the Red Sox pile. Yeah. And how about you put this one also in the Red Sox pile? Ooh. You're awful demanding. Woo! Uh, let's see. Altuve. Yeah. A lot of standard cards. We'll skim them right through. And then for the inserts, we got 150 years Brad Peacock. Peacock! 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 I don't know why I just did that sound. <clears throat> Greatest season, Stephen Carlton, 150 years of baseball, Stephen Carlton. Uh, for the Phillies, uh, Pete Rose was playing for him, Mike Schmidt. I mean, they had a great, great little team uh, back then. <clears throat> My friend uh, Pete Freeman was a huge uh, Phillies fan back then. We got a Chris Bryant uh, foil card for John. <clears throat> there you go. That's nice. Very good. He kind of pops right off the, the card there. And then a Joey Gallo, 1984 variant uh, insert card. So, two packs left, two relics left. Shall we I dance? I did a little bit of measuring, and I thought, hey, this one's going to be like a little Okay, get the uh, inserts to the back. Whoop! Let's see what we got. Uh, we got an Otani uh, talking shop uh, with Bregman. It's kind of cool. Looks like he's uh, got his hand on his ass, but that's all right. Jose Ramirez. Jose, no way, Ramirez. John Snyder says, thanks for <coughs> that drawing of that auto. Yeah, enjoy it. I got a Shane Bieber, all, uh, future star. I don't know if he's a future star or not, but that's what Top says, so I will go with it. I don't see any variant stock or uh, <coughs> alternate... Blue and of course, we got the rated rookie uh, Shone Atani. Ooh, this is a nice card. I will say myself. <coughs> Eduardo Nunez celebrating the possible walk off, maybe home run. I don't know. We got Michael Brantley, who has no longer on the Indians. So I got all the Indians players who are no longer on the team. That's I'll, like every single, you pulled like every single person I know. Yeah, like 90% of them. Yeah, they're getting, rid of, they're getting rid of uh, players quickly. Yeah, I'm like, I don't even know like 90% of the team now. I used to know like at least like. That's right, neither two. do I. <laughs> Throw these in the back. Always sunny. Uh, Sir Diddy shares his expertise. <clears throat> A little Yankees action for you. Mm, I think we already pulled that one. And then I got a for the Angels again. John, you got a uh, Shoei Otani foil. That's really nice. You got Jimmy <coughs> Martinez. You got Rose. Revolution in the, of the Game, Bill James, who did Sabermetrics. Oh, chillax. We're going to do the inserts together. Oh, I, I was already up there. I thought you were doing inserts. No. Oh, all right. I'm still, like, not even close. Uh, Mookie Betts, the leaders. Well, let me look for... Uh, yeah, you Variance. do whatever you do. Uh, Josh Donaldson. Ha ha. Why are you laughing at Josh? Oh, because he's gone. <laughs> yep, I got the all former Indians team going on here. Yeah, you could like make an entire team just made up of like former Indians players. I just want you to know, uh, John, you got the uh, Otani card. It actually has a perfect crease right down the bottom, about a quarter of an inch along... See it? Right along the... right there. Oh. That's right out of the pack, too. It sticks right out when you, when it's stacked up. Huh. Not, not a big right, fan I'll of that. I'll do one since you did one. <clears throat> we got uh, Justin Verlander, greatest players. Justin! Just put that there. I don't know greatest players, right there. Oh, uh, we got 35 years. All right, Dad, now you do one. Oh, we're back yes. to doing that? Okay. I was looking for variants and stuff. We got uh, uh, 35th for Mitch Hinger. I don't know how they pick these players, but there you go. 
Okay, <clears throat> then what do you got? All right. Insert time. All right, so I'll do go first. Uh, this is for the Athletics, who actually wasn't purchased. Strangely enough, nobody wanted the Athletics. That's a 35th anniversary Ricky Henderson game used memorabilia card. Did I, did I buy the White Sox? Nope. All right, well, this is great. There we go. And the second unbought team. <clears throat> this one goes to the White Sox, I believe. It has this guy in the White Sox uniform. Let me just say. Yep, White Sox. This one's actually pretty good, too. Oh, that is good. Uh, it is Jose Aru... Oh. Abru? Ab 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 I don't know. Well, that's kind of nice. it has the Sox logo. Yep, so there's one uh, patch card. Remember, the other card, then there's a manufactured patch there. <clears throat> Congratulations, you have received a retro hat logo patch card from 2019 Tubbs Baseball Series 1. Yeah! yeah I would have kind of liked the, uh, another actual game used thing. Yeah, but, but that is Tops being Tops. Yeah, here's another 150 years Orlando. Yeah, this one extended. looks gold too, so I'm going to have to look to see if there's any difference there. <coughs> and I don't know when this got in here, but we got this. Too. Chapman, yeah, this is the the milita uh, military military uh, camo. Uh, that's number five fifty eight out of two hundred and nineteen, and that's going to the A's as well. Uh, where's that? Didn't we get two of these? Yeah, there it is. Two camos. So we're gonna go through. We're gonna resort them. We're gonna check for cardstock variants. We're gonna check for uh, photo variants. We're gonna check for any of the uh, the stamps on there. Uh, see what we got so to summarize the three big hits uh we got a retro hat logo card we got a ricky henderson uh game used memorabilia 35th anniversary card <clears throat> and we got an autograph of tyler ward rookie card for the angels so there you go. That is Topps 2019 Jumbo Series 1. Uh, we'll be back again. Uh, we're not doing any of the box breaks for the high-end stuff, you know, the $300 for four cards type of deal. But we'll, do, uh, we'll be doing Heritage. We'll be doing uh, opening. Well, we won't do a box break for opening. We'll do a box break, but we won't do a thing for opening gay because it's so cheap. But we'll do Heritage. We'll do Archives. Uh, we'll do what else? Maybe Chrome. Uh, uh, so watch out. Alan and Ginter or whatever. Alan and Ginter. Uh, and all that. So if you're interested in participating in future box breaks, uh, send an email to sportsandgeekery at gmail.com and I will send put you on the mailing list. Uh, everyone who participated, thank you very much for doing that. I will get these cards out to you hopefully on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, <clears throat> and again, baseball's coming. Uh, as you can tell, half of my Indians cards are no longer on the team. That's what happens when you put out baseball cards in January. Uh, it really stinks. I mean, why they put some of them, like Donaldson, who they knew were a free agent, uh, probably wouldn't resign. I don't know. But they did, and there's nothing I can do about it. So that's it for now. Thank you very much. Again, welcome. Uh, it's good to be back after a couple uh, months off for the winter. Uh, Super Bowl's tomorrow. My prediction, Patriots win 27-14. Uh, you want to do a prediction for the Super Bowl? Uh, I don't no. Oh, and Retro Fan had a quick question. Is it equal prices for all teams or are better teams more money? I'm too much too lazy to, 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 uh, to separate them out, so it's just the same price for per team. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I mean, come on, I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to break it down. This is just uh, a way for me to kind of subsidize so I, I don't take a huge loss on every box. Uh, but it's not a money-making thing for me. It's just to help kind of alleviate it so we can do these box breaks for you. Otherwise, my wife will be like cutting me off. So that's it. Thank you guys very much for watching again. Uh, as always, I'm Matt. And I'm Lucas. And we will be back again real soon with another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.